Hello, I'm Epi, and welcome to Exile. I live in London, which is surrounded by an orbital motorway called the M25. The M25 acts as an informal border between London and the rest of the UK. In fact, according to some people, it's basically you have London and then there be dragons. The M25 has four service stations on it, and I'm going to check out all of them. This is actually a really nice service station. It's one of the extra service stations, so it's got more variety than usual. You have a high round sense, you have bread, you have McDonald's, you have Starbucks. You've got different versions of Costa, you've got Marks and Spencers. And it's actually got a really nice fountain up here. So, there's also a kids' play area. This seems to be like a really good place to come with your family. And also, if you have a dog, now unfortunately, if you have a dog, you will need to bring the dog through the service station through to here, uh, which depending on your dog, might be good, might be bad, might be a bit worried. But besides that, it's quite nice. The only problem is, common services is one of the most congested bits of the M25. When I got within three miles of the terminal, I had to wait for about 10 minutes on a Sunday at 11 o'clock. So, not the best in the world. But, if you can get here, it's quite nice. a bit of the service stations for the dogs. You can let your dog off the leash here and it can run around and be nice and happy. And I've been hearing this noise. It turns out it's dragonflies. I did not know that there were service stations that had big enough lakes to support dragonfly populations. I didn't know there were any service stations on the N25 that had lakes. So I learned something today. There is one thing I'm really concerned about if you do bring a dog here is there's quite a lot of trash on the ground. Maybe it's just today because it's a Sunday and they're at half capacity for workers or it'd be really windy or whatever reason. But if you do bring your dog, just keep an eye out that it doesn't get a hold of some trash. All right, it's time to do the score. For ease of access, Calvin gets a nervous woman. It's actually not the best one to get on and off at as it's very busy intersection and it's right into where the A3 splits off. For facilities, is actually not that great. Yes, you have restaurants and you have outside areas, but the line at the toilets is ridiculous and there's only one set of toilets. For variety, 24 crayons. There's a dog park, there's a kids park, there's plenty of food to choose from, plenty of outside areas. Very well done. For style, I give this a sign. It's pretty baller having a lake behind you and it is a really nice and open design, but it's not architecturally that noteworthy. Kid friendly, Yes, to an extent. It's very, very busy, so you need to keep an eye on your kids. And there is a kids' play area, but it is on the small side. For dog friendly, this gets a optimistic but cautious Otis Bear. Yes, there is the dog park, and like with the kids, it's very busy, you need to take care. But I think if you have a dog that likes crowds, he's going to be perfectly fine. So overall, Colin gets a 4 out of 5. Next time, join me at South Mims.